was trying to, you know, contact them on the internet, trying to find out when my second shot was going to be, and I didn't get any messages, and it was really hard to contact them. And then all of a sudden, I opened up my email, and it was the night before, actually yesterday, and they had sent me an email with my time and where to go, and uh, they gave me all my information, but I didn't really have much time to prepare. And they do suggest that you don't cancel the uh, shot because they're very hard to get. So it's Valentine's Day right now, and I'm spending my Valentine's going to get the COVID uh, vaccine shot. So I'm headed over there now, and we'll see what happens. And I'll keep you posted as time goes on and let you know um, how I feel and what's going on and any side effects that I incur. Hey, it's Stacy, And today I just wanted to go over my uh, COVID-19 shot. So I went on Valentine's Day because they contacted me the day before, like I was telling you, and they gave me a um, notice in my email telling me that uh, the next day my shot was, and they gave me the time, and they suggested that I don't cancel it because it's very hard to get uh, another appointment. So I went and I drove down there with my husband on Valentine's Day, and I got the shot, and this was my second COVID shot. So I was a little worried because I heard a lot of stuff on YouTube and I heard people saying that they had a lot of symptoms with the second shot. So I was a little uh, nervous about getting it. I got the Pfizer shot and the first time I got the shot, I really didn't have that many symptoms. Uh, the first time I got the shot, I felt a little bit of soreness around my arm uh, where they gave me the shot and I felt a little fatigue. And the next day my arm felt a little bit stiff. So when I moved it around, it felt a little stiff. And the only time it hurt is when I pressed against that area where they gave me the shot. And that slowly wore off. And, uh, and that was the only uh, symptoms that I felt when I got the first shot. So when I got, went back for the second shot, like I mentioned, I was a little bit nervous because I didn't know what to expect because I saw a lot of people talking about, you know, all the different symptoms. This was the worst shot ever. I felt so horrible. But for me, um, I got very similar symptoms that I did with the first shot. I just felt a little fatigue and my eyes felt a little heavy and that was it. And I took a little nap when I came home and uh, the next day, uh, I felt a little fatigue again. And after the second day, uh, all the, all the uh, tiredness wore off and I didn't even feel like I got the shot. So for me, I didn't feel many um, side effects at all. Uh, it was a very easy shot. Um, the symptoms were very mild and uh, they wore off very quickly. Now I got the Pfizer uh, shot. After the first yeah. shot, you go in three weeks and um, they suggest you can go in four weeks if you want, but usually uh, they give you the, the date. They already have it scheduled when you leave. They don't tell you, and they tell you um, right before. So that was the procedure that happened for me. Uh, I don't know if it's different in different facilities, but I went to uh, a facility that was run by the military and the police, and they had professional uh, PR nurses there and they were administering the shots. So they did everything by protocol. So uh, for me, I had a very good experience. I didn't have very many side effects and uh, it wasn't bad at all. So if you have any questions, if you uh, wanna ask me anything, I'd be happy to answer it in the uh, comment box if you uh, leave the question. And um, you know, my husband's going um, in, in probably in, in about, couple of weeks and he's actually getting the Moderna shot and um, so we'll see if there's a difference between the Moderna and the Pfizer shot and um, my parents are actually going very soon they're going in about a week and um, I'm not sure which one they're getting but we'll see how their side effects also you know I'm kind of you know curious because we have similar DNA and stuff so we'll see what happens and uh, we'll check it out so like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment box. I'd be happy to answer them.